Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. You are welcome to this prophetic session. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If this is your first time, my name is Awanga Iris, and you're welcome to the atmosphere of possibilities. Thank you so much for tuning in, and thank you for joining this amazing family. God bless you. If you've already been part of this family, thank you for always coming back, and thank you for standing with me. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord says, reason why that relationship is not working is because you don't place value on it. The Lord says, why that marriage is not working is because the value you place is very little. You cannot have that relationship with your children. It's because you don't place that value as a mother, as a dad to them. So it keeps affecting them. If you love someone, you will spend time with them. If you love them, you will invest in them. If you love something, you're going to invest in that thing to see it work. So whenever it's failing, it's because the value is not being placed well. The Lord says you are losing it because the value is not longer there. Hallelujah. The team verse for this word is from the book of Philippians chapter 2, verse 3, I read. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain concert. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself. Verse 4 says, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. Hallelujah. And verse 5 says, In your relationships with one another, have the same attitude of mind Christ Jesus had. That is the word of the Lord for somebody. Value people. Put them first before yourself. When you do that, you will not lose the people that you love. When you do that, you will not lost your relationship. You will not lost your marriage. I pray for someone on that grace. The spirit of value is coming upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. God is giving you that grace to learn how to value people, to put them first before your own self. The grace is coming upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Now may the Lord bless you, may he keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine on you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May the Lord give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing, nothing broken. I love you, great people of God, and I will see you in the next session. God bless you. Shalom.